Today we're going to be building a super fast router using open source software. Let's get started.
All right, we're just going to go to PFSense website, and we're just going to go ahead and click on the download tab up in the upper right-hand corner there. I'm going to go ahead and click on where under the category that says new installs, it says both the live CD and embedded images can be found here on the mirrors. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link. I'm going to go ahead and select 64-bit architecture, but uh, if you have an older computer, you may have to do 32-bit, but my processor supports 64-bit. And then for the platform, I'm going to select Live CD with installer. I will be burning this image to a CD. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Michigan link. And I will go ahead and burn this and pop this into the router, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you how I unlocked one of the cores in my processor. Basically, um, you'll go over to Advanced on this BIOS, um, CPU Configuration. You go down to Advanced Clock Calibration, make sure it's Auto Unleash Mode Enable, and Active CPU Cores Auto. Basically, that turned this into an this AMD Symphron 145 into an AMD Anthlon 4450E. Um, they basically had just disabled a core on this, and I was able to unlock it in the BIOS. So we're going to go ahead and boot into the CD here, and you can see that it's loading up. You're going to go and just uh, select the default option, which is just one boot PFSense. You're going to hit I for installer mode. And it's going to launch the installer. Once you're in the installer here, you're just going to pretty much keep these all the same. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick and easy install. Uh, there's other things you can do, but I'm just going to do quick and easy. And hit OK. It's going to erase or format the whole disk or the whole hard drive. Um, I'm just going to do standard mode. Uh, that's the only kernel. or I'm just going to click on the standard kernel. That's the only kernel I have. Um, and then reboot the machine. And uh, now it should be booting off the hard drive here. And it's going to ask if we want to set it up. I'm just going to hit no for the VLANs. Um, I'm going to enter the WAN, you, or the WAN interface name. Um, you can do A for auto detection, but that did not work for me. So instead of typing A, I'm actually going to type in the name of my of my LAN device. Um, for my WAN, um, which is RE0. And for the LAN interface, which is what's going to be going out to the switch, that's RE1. It may be different for you, but that's what the name of my NIC cards are in, in the computer. And I'm going to hit yes to proceed. That's the correct configuration for me. And it's just going to go ahead and load up the rest of the router here. It shows that we had DHCP working with an IPv4 address there. Um, and then now we're just going to go over to the router side. And the first time logging is admin and then pfsense is the password. Um, we're going to go ahead and click next. It's saying to donate. We're going to go ahead and set up what the host name, the domain name is basically. Um, and for the primary DNS servers, I'm just going to use Google uh, Google's DNS servers, um, and then I get, and then go ahead and select your time zone. Um, I'm Eastern Standard Time where I'm located at, but you are probably going to be something different. Um, pretty much this, I'm going to select the WAN interface as DHCP, and then I'm going to pretty much leave everything else the same here. Um, I'm going to select. Uh, or I'm going to check those two at the bottom. Um, that is fine. Uh, and then this is where you set up your password for the router. 
And then once you do that, you're going to hit reload. And then you should be presented with the dashboard screen. Um, oh, uh, you will uh, click here to continue to PSN's web configurator. Uh, and you will be presented with the dashboard screen here. Um, now, there's not much more setup that we have to do with this. Oh, and there's where it actually says that it is the 4450E when I use a, actually a SIM front 145 processor. Um, but there's not much more configuration I have to do with this just because I am not, I don't have a wireless card in my machine. Um, I will just be using a separate wireless access point. And there you go, guys. That's my router. And uh, sorry about the delay on this video. I actually started recording the footage that you saw on it from about January, I think. And as you can see, my setup is a little bit different than it was uh, in the earlier footage of this video. I do have other videos that I do need to upload. I'm still working on them right now, though. Uh, I've recorded a bunch of stuff that I just haven't had time to edit and go ahead and get up to YouTube. Hopefully soon you guys should be able to see a little bit more regular content on my channel. Uh, my channel isn't really just one thing, I just kind of make videos on whatever I like on it really. So there's some tech videos, some videos of me playing games, it's really just whatever. And I really didn't have a regular upload schedule before, um, and I still don't. But if, more pe if I get more subscribers and more people who actually like what I'm doing, I'll go ahead and put more videos up more regularly. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and if you did, you can go ahead and give it a like. Uh, and subscribe to me, that'll also help my channel grow. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!